Question 14. Satnar makes up a game using seven cards. Here are the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Josh picks a card without looking. If Josh picks an odd number, then Satna scores a point. If Josh picks an even number, then Josh scores a point. Is this a fair game? Circle yes or no. Well, easiest thing to do here is just to write underneath each number who's going who's gonna to score a point if that number gets picked. So all the odd numbers, Satna will score. So... We can just write S for short, so S, Satna will score on a 1, a 3, a 5, or a 7. And all the even numbers, Josh will score. So Josh will score on a 2, a 4, or a 6. Now straight away, you should be able to see this is not going to be a fair game. question is why. Well, it's not going to be a fair game, so we're going to circle no. But the answer is because... Satna is more likely to score because she's got four numbers where she can score on. She can score on a one, a three, a five, or a seven. So there's four, four odd numbers. And Josh has only got three numbers he can score on. So there's only three even numbers. So it's not a fair game because Satna is more likely to score on odd than Josh is on even. And that's all we need to write. So explain how you know. So it's no because there are more odds than evens. So Satna is more likely to score than Josh. Now that would be enough to get you the marks. If you want to give a little bit of extra detail, you could even say who it's who has a bigger advantage. So because there are more odds than even, Satna is more likely to score than Josh. So Satna has an advantage. And that's a really clear answer, but again. The working out there is just really to put S and J for Satna and Josh underneath each number and then just count up how many Satnas can score and count up how many times that Josh can score. So there's your explanation.